Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to your sparring, drills, and conditioning class. Uh, we're at Martial Arts America Team Navarre. I am Mr. Kiley. Uh, today's date is April 9th. That is Thursday, 4-9. Uh, so we're going to work on our warm-ups a little bit. Kind of like on Tuesday, we'll work some different plyometric drills. So we're going to advance on those. We're going to make those a little more challenging today. I'm um, going to work on some other drills to help improve your footwork and how, how clean and how efficient you are with your feet and how they're moving. So you're in the best position to score the, throughout the entire sparring match or evade or defend. You're, you're able to do offensive and defensive movements at any given time from those positions. Okay, that's gonna be our challenge today. Get together, bow, we're gonna start off by warming up. Take a small step out of your feet real fast. You just stretch out in case this was your first class of the day where it's been a little, you took a break in between classes, wanna stretch out a little bit. Go to the left side. Over to the right side, if I sound a little bit not as loud, so I do not have my microphone in because I do plan on, we plan on working really hard. So I do not like to huff and puff into the mic the entire time. Um, so I'm gonna try to speak up, but if you're unable to hear me, just post that in the comments and I'll put the mic back on, no problem. And switch. And next one we're gonna do is what's called the frog stretch, which means you're gonna stand up tall. Your feet are a little bit outside your shoulder width, almost like a bad guard stance, bad ready stance. You're gonna then bend your knees to the outside and sink your hips down through the pit, just like this, and then push your knees out. This is the frog stretch. Kind of rock, you're kind of lean back and forth, rocking your legs, kind of loosening up your hips a little bit. From there, you're going to sink forward to here, sinking back. So you're going down to your forearms, you're pushing your hips back to the middle, stretching out the in-betweens and sides of your legs. Come back in, sit back down, peel those toes real fast. Legs on the front. Legs out wide. Back in, pull them in, check it out. So at this point, if you have a chair or something to hold on to, I would, or if you want to walk over to a wall or something like that, do that. We're going to work our hip swings a little bit. It's part of sparring, part of stretching is very important, but it's also important to kind of loosen up those muscles as you're standing and kind of get them actively moving because sparring is not a very static thing. It's a very mobile, active thing. So here. We want to kind of posture back a little bit. Our hip swings, where you want to open up at the hips and shoulders this way, turn it across your body, and then swing it up this way. Four and ten. Trying to keep your body upright. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next thing, we're gonna turn the chair to the side. We're gonna find a good medium spot for your side kick or round kick to go. So wherever it's starting to put a lot of tension on your body and you leaning back, like almost your max height's the goal. Right about, about halfway for you. So if you can kick this high, you'll put your leg about waist high. Okay, so you're here, you're putting it out. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna keep it here. You're gonna keep it straight. You're not gonna pull it in. And without leaning your body backwards, you're gonna pull that leg up a little bit higher and hold it, and then drop it, and that's one. So you're, you're keeping full tension on this leg the whole time. It feels wonderful. We're gonna do 10. Up, down, that's one, two, three. Make sure you're doing that. You lifting your leg up isn't causing your body to fall backwards. You're keeping your body postured up, like you're kicking. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Other side, so I'll just switch sides. I'm gonna move this to my other side. And it strengthens those hip muscles needed to keep that leg up and keep your leg extended, making those stronger. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One more time. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo -hoo. Other side, it's feeling warm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, next thing we're working on, we're just gonna get some jumping jacks going. Kind of get our heart pumping. Heart, yeah, get our blood flowing. We're doing 50 though. It's our challenge. Ready? Stay with me and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And one, one, two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 42 more. 1, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, last one, 50. Very good. Okay, the simple one we did last time with our plyometric drills, our jumping drills. Okay, we worked on our vertical jump, so our max height jump off of a step, and then we did those five times, and then we did 10 full explosion bunny hops. We did that two sets last time, so we did that two times. Today, we're gonna do it three times. So we're gonna do five vertical jumps, high as you can, and then 10 bunny hops, springing as high as we can. You go back and forth between that three times. So we're starting with our five vertical jumps, ready? Remember these, you're gonna take your time and load each one. And let's go for number one. One, land safe and small and string safe and smooth and go ahead two very good high as you can full explosion three good four last one five okay now we're doing bunny hops you're just springing off the balls of your feet you're just using your calves to jump there's not a lot of load there's not a lot of landing it's just bouncing like a, like a bouncy ball good over and over ready ten times and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you're trying to get a lot of height on those jumps all right take a breath now we're back to our five vertical jumps and let's go one good ready two make sure you, you load down you're keeping your chest up so you can sit but you're keeping your chin up the whole time you're not swinging down you're not bending your back that much three good four Last one, five. Good, now we're doing our bunny hops. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're as we did last time. So to add a challenge, we're doing one more set of that this time. Ready? And one, vertical jump. Two, three, two more. Four, one more. Very good. And then 10 bunny hops. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So the next challenge is your head. Let's breathe. I don't know what I'm doing. Yay. Oh, you're good. So what are, we're going to work on now is kind of some coordination what we did last time. Okay. Last time we worked on picking up this leg and then pulling this leg underneath us. Well, getting that to, ha to happen a little bit smooth. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to practice because in sparring, you have to be able to do that from a bounce and from a movement position. That has to come with time. So kind of an in-between point we're gonna work on is starting with your feet together, because we, we can do this and we can do this. And you guys are good at doing that now. We've been practicing that. So we're gonna start to practice it in more of an explosive situation, okay? So you're gonna start with your feet together, basically like you're doing a jumping jack. And what you're gonna do your feet are still gonna go, okay, at least this foot is. Okay, this foot, after you go here, you're gonna then pop off the ground, like you do that bunny hop, and land here, okay? So it's a little bit of coordination there. So it's that same drill we just did, and you're practicing doing it with lighter feet. I said it is one of the hardest parts about this is just lifting this leg up off the ground and getting and going from a dead stop. So instead, you're gonna have some movement with that bunny hop. Again, you're gonna jump and jack out, and then pull it up. 
So you're used to springing it up into the air. Ready? So one time slow, just do the jumping jack part. Just do this. Okay, one more time. This time, as you jump out, just try to land on the one foot. Okay, that's kind of step one. Do it with me. Do that five times. Jump out, land on both feet. When you pop your feet back in, land just on one foot. Okay. We're gonna do this on both sides. You know, so we're doing this side, and then we're gonna practice this side. So you guys are becoming well rounded. You come more times. Again, this foot's doing the same thing. One, two. This foot's just going one, two. All right, it's kind of challenging. Here you go ahead. Last time, jump out on both feet. Don't think about it too much. Jump back in, landing on one foot. Okay, this time, same thing. Jump out with both feet, and both feet hit, and try not to jump super far out wide. Jump to like where your guard stance would be. Now when this leg comes in, instead of this leg coming up like this, you're trying to full chamber it like you're gonna round kick or side kick facing that way, okay? So it's, so you have to basically just go from here, and instead of lifting it to here, lift it a little bit higher to there. This is what it looks like from the front. Again, that leg is coming up underneath you, right? So we're going this way with our right leg. We're gonna start with our feet together, pop them out. It's also helpful that as you pull that leg up, go ahead and turn your head and look that way. So you're kind of, instead of looking at me while you're doing it, get used to looking where you're going. So it's here. And then we'll kind of look back towards me, all right, ready? And go, back down, okay? And go, good, two more times. One more time, bonus points if you can kind of pivot that foot on landing. Ready, go. Okay, so that was that side. Now we're gonna try to reshuffle it and do it all on this side. I know some of you guys, this isn't your dominant leg. That doesn't even have to avoid it. But yes, I want you to kind of focus and make one leg that's your favorite, as strong as you can possibly make it. But we also need to make sure we're practicing our other leg so that we're not deficient in any area, all right? So just practice this part, do it again. You know, this time, same thing, just pull this knee up, pull this leg on the ground. So the same exact feeling, instead of this leg just going back together, you're still jumping out on both, and you're jumping back on both, I'm just landing on one, like that. It's almost like you're hopscotching, ready? One more time. Okay, so this time, same thing, we don't just stop here, lift it all the way up to here like a side kick or a round kick, ready? And go, out, up, kind of tricky, and go. A couple more times. Good. Okay, so what you're doing is if you had a hard time doing this drill before, you're doing it now. That's a, it's the same exact thing. Because you notice my leg is covering distance. Good. I'm just starting from out and pushing them together. I'm still covering distance because my leg is, is going from landing here to landing here. I'm covering a half block. So you guys are actually, you're doing this drill now. Good, you're getting a lot better at it. This is just a slightly easier way to do it. Okay, that's enough. that'll be the next evolution. And so over here, let's try it one time just to see it. So here, instead of starting together and then pushing out and then landing back in like that, okay, you're gonna take, instead of starting in here and starting here, you're still gonna bounce, good. And then the next bounce, you pop them underneath. So it's, ready? Now we're getting complicated, okay? So again, all we're doing, instead of jumping out and jumping back in, instead of going one, two, you're starting out. You're going one, two. So you're still jumping up, but instead of going from in to out, you're starting out and you're staying out. And on the second jump, you're pulling it underneath yourself. Ready? And jump, jump. One more time. Jump, jump. Now the goal is every time you do it, try to push a little bit further. So instead of my foot landing here, I'm gonna try to go past that line. Okay, this is how you grow that. But you're still, again, you're still not pulling. You're jumping both at the same time. Jump, jump. Good. That's a challenge, all right? We'll get there. We have time. Next thing we're gonna work on, hit your footwork and your movement. Hit this part is where we can get really fancy with our footwork, so we're going to. So what I want you to do is you're gonna start with your right leg forward, because most of you guys are right leg. You know, we'll practice both sides to this, because sometimes what you'll notice is even if you have one side that you think is your favorite, 
sometimes practicing your other, your other side, the side that you didn't know you liked, will you end up liking more than you thought you did? So go here, we'll start with the right side. Okay, again, your feet are underneath your shoulders. Okay, you guys are doing a really, you already have done a really good job with forwards movement and backwards movement. Okay, we're gonna take an you know, upgrade to that though. Instead of going one, two, and one, two, which is how we normally do it. Again, if I'm mirroring you, if you're stepping closer to me, like if you take a step closer to the mirror, you should get closer, like bigger. It's the same thing, it looks like you're stepping towards yourself. If I step towards you, you step towards me. So if I take my front foot and move it towards you, move to me, okay? If I step away from you, you should step away from me, right? We normally do that. Whichever way you go, that foot moves you, right? If I step to you, you step, so if I step with my left foot, you step with your right foot. We step with our closer foot and then our away foot. So the way you make that faster is you actually push off both feet. That's the next drill. That's what we're gonna work on right now. So again, step we're gonna move, I'm gonna move to you, you're gonna move closer to me, we're gonna get closer together, but instead of stepping with one and then two, you're still keeping your knees bent, you're not jumping up, I'm not going up, I'm just pushing both of my feet and I'm going forward, I'm jumping both feet at the same time. So that's gonna be our tricky little challenge, ready? So your knees are bent, don't let your legs lock out, keep your body low, and then jump closer to me. Good, keep those knees bent upon landing. Now you're gonna jump away from me and I'm gonna jump away from you. We're not gonna lift up, we're gonna push backwards. One more time, stay low, and then push away. Okay, now the tricky part is when we start moving sideways. Okay, the way to do that is normally we go, and this is the trick, whichever leg is behind you, good, so you have your, your right leg's in the front, so your left leg is behind you, that's the one that's gonna move both times. Okay, but what we're gonna do is that one's actually, let's make sure I say this right, okay? When you do this, okay, normally we teach it like this. You take your back foot, you move your back foot, your shoulder stays sideways, and this one squares up. That's how we normally teach it. That's the correct way to make it even faster. Instead of just stepping this foot backwards and then letting this one follow, we're actually gonna take our front foot and we're gonna put it a little bit over in the front of us. And we're gonna push really hard off of it making this foot move faster. So again, we're doing the same exact thing. I'm going here, one, two. But instead of me just pushing this foot backwards, I'm taking this foot and I'm pushing really hard off of it. So you're here, you're gonna take a small step forward with your right foot, just a little one, which pushes this leg back really hard. And then this leg comes to it. Okay, so it makes your move a lot more explosive, a lot more powerful, ready? So take your right foot, the one that's in the front, the one I can look at right there. So you're gonna take and just move it over just a little bit, which lets you push off this leg really hard and move this one back and line up like that. And every time we do it, we're gonna go a little bit faster. So again, move this one forward, push that one back. Come back, move this one forward, push that one back. So now it's almost like a bounce, like we just practiced earlier. And so it's move, push. Ready? Move, push. Good, now faster, and this time don't let that foot hold there. Drive it to the ground and make it bounce, so it's good, pop, pop, pop. Ready, go. One more time, go. Very good, we're not trying to cover an immense amount of distance, just like that much. Okay, now switch sides. Now we have to kind of reshuffle everything around. Again, we're going, this foot's going behind us. Your right foot now is going backwards. Your left foot is squaring up and following it. To get it there, I take my left foot, I take a small step forward so I can then push and then come open. Ready? Small step, push, come open. One more time. And small, push, open. Now we're going to go faster. Instead of stepping and pushing, it's going to punch the floor, which is going to send that leg back really fast. And go. Come back in. Try not to have your feet too wide in the beginning. And go. Good, one more time. Good. Switch sides again, hope I don't confuse you. So now we're gonna go from almost a light bounce, okay? Because when you're sparring, you don't spar standing still. You spar with light movement. Good, when you're doing this, you can make sure your feet don't have to leave the ground. So if you gotta be, you can kinda see my feet, but I'm actually not coming up off the ground. I'm staying, you can, you can if you want to, okay, or you can just stay stationary. You want a light bounce though, because if your body's constantly moving, then it's harder for your opponent to tell when you're going forward or sideways. If you're standing straight still, then anything I do is gonna be very easily for you to see, right? You're gonna see it really easy. 
But if I'm lightly moving, then it's a lot harder to figure out when I start moving because I'm always moving, okay? So that's the trick. If you're always moving, they don't know when you're starting to move. So you're here, light bounce. Good, and from here, we're going to practice that hop forward. So again, if I get closer to you, I want you to come closer to me, ready? Both feet. If I go away from you, I want you to go away from me. Now we're gonna practice that back step. My front leg, your right leg is gonna step forward, pushing that leg behind you. Good, slide back to your spot. And if I get closer to you, if I get away from you, well, let me trick you. And that back step, you be good. Slide back to your spot. One more time, practice the back step from a light bounce. And all that was broken down. Again, I'm not just stepping, stepping. I'm stepping, pushing really hard over. Make somebody faster and stronger. One more time. To me, away from me, whip behind me. Okay, and those things, those little movements, the more you practice them, a, the stronger your legs are going to get, so it's going to help you push faster and stronger. And B, the more you do them, you're not only going to get stronger legs, but you're going to start to understand the movement better. You're not going to think about them as much, so you're going to move stronger and faster. Okay? Last thing we're going to do is kind of work on again the explosion part of your legs and fatigue you a little bit. We're going to do what's called a jump split lunge. What that means is you're going to go from here. You're going to jump to almost like a guard stance, front ways, like this. Good. And then you're going to bend that knee down. Good and you're gonna stand, but you're not gonna put your knee on the ground, you're gonna hover it. You're gonna jump up as high as you can, and then from there, you're gonna switch your feet and land on the other side. So there's a couple different ways to grow this, okay? You can either just step back and then step back. So you're working just this part, make sure you're inside. Again, I'm stepping back far enough where when I bend my knee, this does not go way over my foot. What I don't want, I don't want this. See how my heel's off the ground? I need that heel to stay on the ground. So I need to make sure when I step back that my heel of this foot stays on the ground. So I have to step back and kind of lean with it. Now I can do the other side. Okay, from there, you can work on just jumping out to your split and then jumping back. And then jumping out to the other side and then back. And then from there, we do what's called a jump split lunge where you jump and do the, the lunge. And then when you jump back up, instead of landing here, you can keep going and then on the other side. So it's like this. Okay, it's a lot of explosion, a lot of leg muscle. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. We're gonna to try to stay together. You don't have to stay with me. Go at your own pace, go at your own speed, do it your own way. Those are kind of the different evolutions to making it happen. Ready? And go. Use your hands. A little bit more. Five seconds. Time. Very good. Get together. Bow. We're going to try for two sets of 30 seconds next time I see you guys, which will be next Tuesday. Make sure you stretch out. Make sure you get some water. Um, I hope you guys did a really good job today. A couple little things. Uh, we, I'm not going to see a couple of you guys over the weekend, so I'll make sure that I take a breath. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Um, tomorrow, tomorrow is Bryce Clapley's birthday. Bryce, you're in class. Happy birthday, buddy. If you guys want to wish him a bad, happy birthday in the comments, that would be awesome. Um, and then we also have Briley Ponce. His birthday is the next day over the weekend. Happy birthday, Miss Ponce. Miss Briley, you're wonderful. You guys are awesome. Have a wonderful birthday, guys. Um, if I don't see you in class, we have black class for those guys tomorrow, then I will see you guys next Monday or next Tuesday. You have a wonderful weekend. Train hard. Stretch. Drink some water. Go into the sunshine a little bit. Stay safe. Feed together. Bow, you guys are dismissed.